Hey guys, it's Jody. Welcome back to The Brilliant Beauty. Be sure to subscribe for new videos every week. Okay, so to create a low ponytail, the preparation is pretty simple. You just need nice and detangled hair. You can even use an old hairstyle like I did. I just made sure to put my hair in band two knots so that it wouldn't tangle up on me. And you guys, the shrinkage is real. My hair can't really make a fluffy ponytail yet, so I am gonna pull out one of my cheap methods later on in this video and I will show you guys how to do that. But essentially, I'm just going to part my hair. I'm using a deep side part this time. You can do a middle part, whatever suits you best. On wet hair, I'm going to add my curl enhancing smoothie. And this is really important. You wanna add a moisturizer or a creamy product just to keep your hair nice and soft, especially if you're gonna wear this style for more than one or, one or two days. You don't wanna get it all dry and brittle or have it breaking off. And then I add my Holy Grail Eco Styler Gel. This is like the best for natural hair. It doesn't have any alcohol, so it's not gonna, again, dry your hair out or make it all crunchy. So I apply those two products on wet hair and then I smooth it out and move on to the next section. Once I'm finished with the back section, I'm gonna create my ponytail for my head shape. I have a long head, I don't need it too low, so I'm just gonna move it up a little bit. As I do each section, I'm just going to join and smooth those sections into the ponytail in the back so it could kinda look somewhat cohesive. So as always, I add my water to dampen my hair. I smooth it out with my creamy product, my curl enhancing smoothie, and then I apply lots and lots of eco styler gel which is going to mold my hair down and this is a sleek ponytail if you want to modify it you can but it will be a little bit more fluffy i have tight curly hair so i need a lot of gel to get my hair nice and smooth and it looks like a lot of product now but my hair is gonna dry when it dries all the white stuff is gonna disappear i promise so yeah i'm just gonna work in sections and i'll see you at the end of the video So now that I have my hair all smoothed down, I'm gonna put it into a ponytail using my Ouchless rubber band. And it doesn't have any metal on it, so it's not gonna snag and break off my hair. So I'm gonna apply a scarf, actually like two or three scarves. You wanna smooth down your edges, as well as the middle of your head, cause I find that the middle of my head poofs up a lot. So I'm gonna let that sit, preferably overnight until it dries but I let it stay just a little bit for the purpose of this video. Now I'm gonna pull out one of my cheat codes for you guys. I call this cheat code number five. <laughs> and I'm gonna use some old extension hair. I'll put the link below to, how, um, to what kind of hair this is. But I'm gonna use some scrap hair. Some of it is like loose wefting and some of it's clip-ins. So I'm just gonna wrap that around my ponytail and use some pins to clip, to clip the hair in place.
I'm also going to pin some pieces in the middle where my bun is to conceal my hair so you won't be able to tell. And then I'm going to wrap a piece of that extension hair around the bun so that the beginning of the wefting does not show. And that's about it. I'm doing like a puff but you can also do like a sleek ponytail if you wanted to add some extensions to the end. You can put your own hair into a bun or if your hair is long or thick enough you can just leave it out. So the style options are always endless with natural hair. And I'm going to add a little bit of shine with my Jane Carter Seal and Shine. It's like a like an oil gloss spray which it does smell funny at first but it smells so good the day after. And I will list everything I use in the description box. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.